Every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling. Alright, let's take a look at my setup here. So first off I've got this steel edger and it's a uh, 90 motor size. Uh, let me look and see. Steel FC 90. Uh, so that's the commercial grade uh, motor. And uh, this edger is uh, pretty much the same as the residential grade other than the motor size. As far as the components and the parts, uh, they're all the same uh, from what I believe. Every time I uh, mow the yard, my wife won't let me get away uh, without edging it. So for the last uh, eight years or so, I, uh, I've been using a weed eater to edge the yard. And if you've ever tried that, it's not easy. It's not fun. And uh, really the only way to do it is to throw a lot of debris uh, back at you. So you've got to have your safety gear on. You've got to have pants and boots on and you gotta be ready to uh, to take a little bit of pain but I guess it's worth it to uh, to make my wife happy uh, so I thought it was time to go ahead and get a edger cuz I'm tired of the pain and uh, I want it done right so I picked up the edger and then we've got the uh, the mower over here so let's uh, let's take a look at the mower Alright, this is a Honda and it is also commercial grade and if you notice it looks very similar to the same thing you can buy at Home Depot. One difference, it says commercial on it. Okay, and another thing if you notice is it looks very simple. Everything you need and nothing you don't. And this is what I love about quality equipment. Uh, it's built, it's built right, it's built to last. If you notice this deck here, it's all metal deck. Take a look at the wheels. Those are high quality wheels. Very thick rubber on that. The filter system here. Notice this filter has a uh, fine uh, ring around it. And this ring, behind the ring, you've got this actual filter back here. And then you've got this dust, this dust filter. This dust filter has uh, oil in it. If you rub your fingers on it and you rub them together, you can kind of see the oil. And what that oil does is it catches the dirt. And it stops the dirt here before it enters the filter. When you replace these these uh, the outside filter here, you have to rub oil back into it because without the oil, it's useless and the dirt will go right through it. The light the light oil is what uh, stops the dirt from getting into the main filter that's back behind this. You don't see that on a lot of mowers. A lot of mowers just got a standard uh, filter. Let's take a look at the gas cap here. You got easy access 
Got a nice big cap. Uh, this cap uh, is heavy duty. You can feel uh, it's not just a thin plastic cover. It's a heavy duty cap. When you look inside the gas tank, Look at that it thing. Uh, it it prevents you from over tightening the cap. That's neat. I've never seen that on a lawnmower before. You see that standard on vehicles, but never seen that on the lawnmower. Got your oil fill here. You got your spark plug up front, right there. Okay, look at these wheel adjusters. Let's look at the back ones. Another upgrade on this mower is that uh, it's self-propelled and uh, this is how you propel it but it has uh, what's called a clutch blade system so blade control and then clutch and what that means is that you can use this to self-propel the lawnmower and most lawnmowers whenever you release this bar the mower shuts off and to start the mower you have to hold this bar down and then pull the cord to start the mower with this mower you do not have it ha you do not have to have it engaged so you can start the mower you can engage the mower you can release uh, the handle here the mower will continue to run but the blades will turn off and so it makes it safe that's a safety feature that's built into the mower and uh, that way if you have to pick up uh, some trash you got to empty out the uh, bag or you just get distracted for whatever reason you don't have to come back and restart the mower the mower will stay running but it will be in safe operation because it will be steel and the blades will not be moving so that's something uh, I think is pretty cool as well and you have your speed here so that looks like that is your motion, your travel speed, and then this would be uh, the speed of the engine and, and the blades. Alright, and you have the uh, grass catcher, just simple operation there, and it just catches on this lip right there, drop it into place, and that's it. So that's an easy uh, one thing about some mowers is their grass catchers are a pain in the butt and you might as well not even have them because the time it takes to put them on and take them off and dump them uh, it's just a hassle so this looks like a pretty simple operation so again uh, this mower is uh, simple there's not a lot to it there's not a lot of bells and whistles on it when you go to the big box stores they want to sell you a thousand dollar mower with the starter, with the horn, with the lights, uh, with tassels. I mean, everything you can think of. Everything that's just going to add another dollar to it. And what is, at the end of the day, what does that product deliver? All that extra stuff doesn't help cut your grass for you. So this is a simple, uh, simple design, simple product, and uh, it'll get the job done. Not only will it get the job done, but it'll get it done many, many times over uh, what you would buy at the uh, big box stores. So that's why I'm a fan of buying uh, quality products. I believe if you buy things right the first time, you won't have to buy them again. And uh, I believe time is money. And if I save more time by not having to mess with my equipment, then I save more money. 
even though it's an expensive uh, upfront cost, uh, you will save the money in the long run. Okay, let's take a look at these uh, gas cans. I got a good deal on these as a package deal. And these are high quality gas cans. These again, you will not find these in the big box stores. And, and let me tell you why and let me show you the difference. If you could feel the thickness on this plastic, you'd be able to, you'd be able to see the difference instantly. The plastic on this is very, very thick, much thicker than anything uh, you can just buy right off the shelf. And uh, another thing about this is the nozzle. I really hate the nozzles that don't function properly. Um, I hate the nozzles that will not pour gas out until they're at the proper angle and then it just comes spewing out. The no control, you're wasting gas. Um, but these nozzles have a cap on them and they also have this button on the back. And you see how it just released the pressure that was in there? And you can tilt this all the way forward, like so. See that? No gas is coming out of that whatsoever. And it's not until I push the, the button that gas will start to flow out. There's also an O-ring in here, you can, you can see it, that keeps that seal tight, prevents from any gas coming out, and you can see the plunger inside there moving back and forth. So this, uh, this nozzle right here is very thick plastic. The other thing is the type of plastic that this, this is made of. Believe it or not, some plastics actually can breathe and they can sweat. And whenever it's hot, like it is right now, uh, they can allow contaminants into the gas and they can sweat and allow water into the gas. And a standard gas can, uh, that, like you see at most stores, you really only want to store gas in those about a day or two uh, and then throw them out because the gas will have impurities in it and it will, uh, it will do damage to your equipment, especially in the long term. So you can see I just filled these, uh, these gas cans with gasoline. It's kind of a hot day and so they're building up pressure. Uh, this one's kind of bowed out. Whenever I push this valve you can hear the pressure coming out. And uh, that shows you how good of a seal that these gas cans actually have. They have a really good seal. They keep contaminants, they keep oxygen, and they keep water out of your gasoline. And you're able to store gasoline for, a lo for much longer periods of time than you can with the cheap gas, than you can with the cheap uh, gas cans that you get from most stores. So, so I know this is very detailed and it might just seem like it's just another gas can and who really cares it's a gas can but when you're looking at quality product everything matters and when you pay attention to detail everything matters if you want a long life out of your equipment and even just a gas can can make a difference. Alright, one more thing I just noticed is that uh, a lot of mowers have a primer button on the engine itself and uh, this one does not. There is no primer button, uh, but it does have the choke up here on the handle and so you'll choke it right here, you'll start it, and then you'll uh, put it to speed. So that's uh, an added benefit. Uh, you don't have to mess around uh, anything on the motor. That thing is a lot quieter than I expected. Let me get up close and uh, turn it back on so you can hear how quiet it is. That's really important. If you're mowing 20 yards a day, uh, you don't want all that noise. So uh, that was something I didn't expect.
Alright, now check this out. Whenever you push this blade forward, it does nothing. When you push the clutch forward, it starts the, uh, the autom automatic drive. So you push both of them together and you're driving it with, uh, without the blades on. So it's got a self-propelled without the blades on. Now if you want the blades on, you have to push in this yellow button and then push in the clutch. Pretty sweet. Let's get to hustling some grass. With yes, I'm the boss. 745 white on white, that's Rick Ross. I cut them wide, I cut them long, I cut them fat. I keep them coming back. We keep them coming back. I'm in the distribution, I'm like Atlantic. I got them pretty things flying across the Atlantic. I know Pablo, Pablo, Noriega, the real Noriega. He owe me a hundred favors. Real us a hustle. What? Every day I'm hustling. 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 Every day I'm every day I'm every day I'm hustling. Every day I'm hustling. Every day I'm hustling. We've had this mower for about four years now and it's been really good to us. Uh, it's really well built. It has a really thick uh, deck on it. And you can see the frame. Uh, looks real strong. I believe that's probably 3H uh, square tubing. Here are all the controls. Uh, just short and simple, nothing crazy. You have the uh, choke. Then you have your speed control. This turns your blades on and off, and then your on and off switch. We've had a lot of really good luck with this mower. It's been real good to us, never had any issues. Real happy with it. Uh, I would caution you though, because uh, Home Depot is now selling the Hustler uh, brand. Uh, but from what I hear it's a it's a pretty cheap down version just as you would expect so they switched their model from just being a professional mowing manufacturer and selling um, for, uh, through uh, small businesses and they're now getting getting into the uh, big box stores into the retail business 
and with that comes a price and with that price is the quality of the product so I'm not real happy to see that I know that Hustler still makes a good quality product um, but I just don't think you're gonna buy it at Home Depot so if you if you do want to get a Hustler uh, make sure you go to a Hustler dealer and uh, don't mess around with the Home Depot stuff Every day I'm hustling, 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 every day I'm every day I'm every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling, every day I'm Every day I'm hustling, every 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 day I'm hustling, 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 hustling. Every 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 day I'm hustling, 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 hustling. Every 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 day I'm hustling, 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 hustling. Every 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 day I'm hustling, 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 hustling. Every day I'm hustling. Suckers think you're tripping with, yes, I'm the boss. 745, white on white, that's Rick Ross. I cut them wide, I cut them long, I cut them fat. I keep them coming back, we keep them coming back. I'm in the distribution, I'm like Atlantic. I got them pretty things flying across the Atlantic. I know Pablo, Pablo, Noriega, the real Noriega. He owe me a hundred favors. Real is a hustle. What? Every day I'm hustling. 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 Every day I'm. Every day I'm. Every day I'm hustling. Every day I'm hustling. Every day I'm. Every day I'm hustling. 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 Every day I'm hustling.